that the first Cressel one was funded through an I-3 grant, which is also through the U.S. Department of Education. But these Promise Neighborhood grants, there's never been one funded in Alaska. Only four were funded this year. Um, and we were the only new grantee um, that they've had in their past two funding cycles. So it is a really good opportunity, partially because they like to fund their previously funded grantees as well. So it's a five-year grant, which is nicer than some. And, um, Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Um, now we're like, uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so there are a lot of partners. There's over 25 partners. And this one, we're focused in on Southeast Alaska, and it's supporting transitions and educational promise in the Southeast. It's a collective impact, which I know is a trendy word these days, but it really is looking at cradle to career solutions and strategies that are going to really help students, kids, and their families. There's 15 main indicators we're working towards, and so um, if anyone's interested in knowing what those are, especially folks in, in Southeast. Um, so um, there, are four, there are four blocks, but um, I don't think that it gives you like the full picture. So I will send out some other graphics that we've been working on, and I have all of these in a one-pager, all of the um, component areas. So there's this early childhood area, which some of you in this room might be interested in. Uh, there's a K-12 through area. There's a post-secondary preparation area. And there's a prevent and engage section. Um, but the idea of it is really to make sure that we're thinking about key transitions and what, how do we bring all of our partners together in the region to create seamless supports? And I'm going to be honest, before in the month period writing this grant, I did not connect with every partner. But we do have 25 partners that we're, that we're starting with, and I think others will join the conversation. Um, Clinton and Haida is a lead partner, so Central Council. Um, we have... It's not every community in Southeast Alaska, but we have Juno and Sitka and Heidelberg, Angoon, Cake, Klukwan. Yes. So, um, so there are a lot. And do I say Huna? And Huna. Uh, so there's an early childhood block, and it's not like ASB is doing all the early childhood work. So it's exciting. We'll be able to fund AEYC um, to expand their parents' as teacher programs not just from zero to three, but three to five, and they'll help with kindergarten transition, so that we're really excited about that. But what's hard is that it's really inconsistent across the whole region. So um, Angie can correct me if I'm wrong here, but like Heidelberg doesn't really have a preschool. They don't really have a head start. Um, some other community might have a preschool, might, another might have a head start. So what we're doing in these first six months is really kind of scanning and saying, how do we elevate um, if there's not something there, how do we elevate that? And if we have something there, how do we strengthen and, and build that out? Um, there'll be support for um, increasing access to child care certification and training. There'll be um, support for family networks, um, teaching gold. We're going to link, well, we were, we'll hopefully still link to what's going on with um, quality preschool work. And there are a lot of local organizations that are interested in partnering too, and so we'll figure out how to really strengthen that ready for kindergarten piece. So I know I don't have time to go through all of them, but I'll send this out. And so folks that are interested, at least you have a heads up that this is starting. We're just really in the planning phases. I mean, we had to put forward a lot of strategies to get funded, but there is some scope for shifting that as we move forward. So. I think that's Great. about all I can share yeah, in the time. So. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, I'd be interested to see more. Oh, yeah. How that's me. Oh. You can contact me there. <laughs> so. Oh, sorry. Nice job. And I'm sorry I have to run, but you have my contact. For so. a question? Uh, quick question. Sure. Who's that? This is Laura Norton Cruz. Laura. Okay. Hey, Laura. Yeah, um, just one question, is, uh, the toolkit it looks so good and the components of it, and I'm thinking about all the folks who come uh, with questions and wanting to be connected to people who are doing trauma-informed schools work, and um, one of the resources that 
uh, some districts are creating our videotaped training. Um, right, so yeah. Who's going to be working on those? Anchorage, Anchorage did. Yeah. Um, and we try to videotape and post on our YouTube any training that you know is applicable and that's shareable. Mm -hmm. So do you have? Will you have a website where those can be linked with your toolkit? Um, or would you want our you you know to link to our YouTube that has that hosts those videos? Um, yeah, just something to think about. Sure. Uh, we want to be. And I think that would be something that the whole, like, the group and maybe the expanded group would make a decision about. So ASB would, of course, be happy to, uh, you know, store things, host things, but I think we should also, it also would be a question of where are people going to access things already and what makes the most sense, so. Yeah, good point. Did I miss when when people will be able to connect with that group? No, nope, you didn't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I didn't. I didn't commit to that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. All right, we got one more. So, Colleen, are you here? Yes, ma'am. Are you on the phone? Colleen? Okay. Well, I was supposed to have Colleen um, McKenzie with the Juno Youth Services give a presentation, but I'm not sure where she is. <laughs> so, um, with that, I guess we're, we're done. Colleen, are you on the phone? No. Okay. Well, does anyone else have any announcements or news they'd like to share? So I could just mention briefly. Do you want to introduce yourself? Oh, so I'm Lily Liu. I'm the um, executive medical director of the Children's Hospital of Providence. And I'm also the president of the Alaska chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics. And the AAP chapter is planning to host a pediatric pain management conference. It will be on a Saturday, May 19th in Anchorage um, at Providence. and. Um, for AAP chapter members, it will be free, and we'll, um, we'll have a reasonable cost for probably about eight hours of CME or CEUs on pediatric pain. So, and the day will be May 19th. All right, thanks. Yeah. Can you, Barbara, can you um, just come here for the folks on the phone? I'm Barbara Hale with Denali Kid Care, and I just wanted to provide an update that I'm sure you've all heard, but CHIP funding, Children's Health Insurance Program, was extended um, through 2023. So we have funding for the higher level Medicaid children through that date, but I wanted to just say to everyone um, to keep on the horizon if you're doing advocacy. Um, Congress is talking about extending the program for 10 years, and it's really important because between 2023 and 2024, the funding will drop 78, um, decrease by 78 mm. percent, and um, that's called the chip cliff now. And so um, if you think Congress had a hard time, um, the House and the Senate trying to put this forward this time, it'll be really hard for them because it will be difficult for them to come up with the funding. Um, so it's really important for advocacy that um, if there is a bill that comes forward in Congress that everybody think about that for funding extension because that will save the federal government six billion dollars over ten years. So I just wanted to mention that if you see Congress um, putting um, more legislation forward to increase the extension period, um, you know, another um, four years. So a total of 10. Can you Thanks, keep us posted yeah. on that and I'll share it with our mailing list for if there are any specific asks on things that are needed, letters of support, um, or just in general to keep people posted on it, just <coughs> share that info with us. Yes, I will. And the good news is, is that, um, I don't like to get uh, wonky here, but the <laughs> maintenance of effort eligibility um, on this um, is extended through 2023 right now, meaning that um, individual state legislatures can't decide to lower the income levels for that period. So that's, great. That, that's positive. Yep, that's great. great. Thanks, Barbara. Thanks, yeah. Barbara. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yeah, <laughs> <Thank you>. always. <laughs> Baltimore, All right. I'm going to be Mom. at 
AAP. This one, is Amy Dressel. One second, we just have one announcement here and then we'll get to the phone. Sorry, right. yes, Amy. This is Amy Dressel. Um, I am going to the AAP legislation convention in, in April um, as the Alaska representative. So, um, and I'll be meeting with staff for both our senators and our representatives. So, people have different issues, you know, you can always. And I'll be there too, so we'll, we can go together. Okay, and uh, was there someone on the phone with an announcement? Yes, Mari, this is Debbie Golden. Hi, I, Debbie. I just want to let folks, hi. I just wanted to uh, let folks know who might not have already seen the same today that the uh, Biennial Alaska Maternal Child Health and Immunization Conference is slated for September 26th, 27th, and 28th. And the website is up. Um, you know, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but if you, it's easy to find if you just type in Alaska MCH Conference. Right. So we hope folks will put that on their calendar. All right. Thanks. If you want to send me info on that, I can share that. Okay. We'll do. All right. Anyone um, else? One more thing. <laughs> oh, one yeah. more thing? Sure. That there, we did um, decide a date for the um, child maltreatment conference. Um, it's going to be in Anchorage. Um, it's going to be the week of November 12th. Uh, because November 12th is Veterans Day, uh, what we're going to probably do is have a day or two ahead of time for care providers, for primary care, pediatricians, uh, family practice, anybody who's interested um, to talk about uh, child maltreatment um, before the rest of the conference. So. Great. That's very close to when we have the all of the pediatric symposium. So, um, yeah, send me that info. So, and I'll send you an email about this too. If we're going that far out in dates, another <laughs> save the date is September 21st. There will be a pediatric TBI traumatic brain injury conference in Anchorage. Okay. Great. Well, this is a first for a while. We're five minutes early. <laughs> so, thank you so much.